Today, I'm going to talk about the theoretical concept of syncing or what we call NPM type switch and sourcing or what we call PMP type switch. As we know, instrument has two wire instrument, four wires in instruments. Actually, there is another, another type of instrument called three wire instrument. So usually we refer three wires instrument as switch. Okay. Like in this drawing. Okay. For the solid state switch, usually is a three wire instrument. Okay. Solid state switch can be semiconductor transistor switch. For example, in this drawing, this is a bipolar junction transistor switch. Okay, so let me briefly touch about the concept of the three wire switch as shown in this drawing. Okay, as we know for the bipolar junction transistor is it basically consists of three things. First is the E, okay, which stands for emitter. The other one is the B, which stands for base and C which stands for collector. B is always internally connected to the sensor or switch. Okay. C is always internally connected to the output wiring. So these two things we have to remember always to avoid confuse, any confusion in future. As for the E emitter, it can be either internally connected to the negative V or the ground wiring, or it also can be internally connected to the positive V. This depends on whether it is a sinking or the sourcing type. Okay, if this switch is a sinking or what we call NPN type switch, then the E emitter will be connected to the ground or negative V wiring. If the switch is a sourcing or what we call PMP type switch, then the E emitter is internally connected to the positive V wiring. Okay. So when this sensor or switch detects something or any object in front, it will send a pulse to the B or base. You can assume this base as a gate or door. So when it detects the pulse, the base or the gate or the door will open so that the current can flow through the gate. Okay. So for syncing or NPN type switch, we can assume or treat NPN as negative, positive, negative. As we know, this is a bipolar junction transistor. It has three things, emitter, base, collector. So we can just Temporally treat N as emitter, P as base, and this N as a collector. As we know, for conventional current flow, note that I'm talking about conventional current flow. I don't talk about electron flow. Okay, the conventional current flow, where the current is always flows from P to N. That means flow from positive to negative. In other words, current flow from base to emitter. So the current flow from the base to the emitter. Emitter is where the arrow located. Okay. Just like in this one, emitter is where the arrow located. Okay. The B base is located at this flat line, this vertical line. Okay. Like this one, B located at the vertical line. Okay. So, as, so since this is a sinking or NPN type and the E is connected to N, meaning this E emitter is internally connected to the negative V or ground wiring. Okay. And, o, and the C or the collector output, as we know and mentioned just now, is always connected to the load. Okay. Load can be anything. It can refer to as a PLC input load or electronic recorder or any controller 
etc as long as it has resistance okay it is a load okay because the switch is sinking so the load must be opposite meaning the load is sourcing as we know sourcing must be connected to the positive side of the power source that's why we call it sourcing okay and if you observe carefully here there is another wiring here which is positive v wiring okay we sh should not leave it open so where we should connect we should connect to the positive side of the power source because it is a positive v or positive voltage okay so when the sensor or switch detect the object in front what happened is it will send a pulse to the base which acts as a gate and you open the gate and the current can flow from the power source the positive terminal or polarity of the dc power source to the load okay for example plc input load and then to the collector output wiring to the collector side then to the base then to the e emitter side after that it will exit through the ground or negative v wiring and and then go back to the negative side of the power source as for the sourcing of the pmp type switch the load must be opposite meaning sinking okay so the emitter the e emitter is internally connected to the positive v wiring and we know b base is always connect to the sensor okay that is understand and the collector is always connected to the output wiring and this output wiring of course is always connected to the load okay this is understandable okay so there is another wiring here which is a ground or negative v wiring we will connect to the negative side of the dc power source so when the sensor of this sourcing switch detect the object in front it will send a pulse to the base so the current will flow from the positive side of the dc power source to the positive v to the emitter and then to the base and then exit from the collector output wiring and then to the load and this load will sink the current to the negative side of the power source okay so we can assume emitter connect to positive p is positive okay emitter connect to the positive v so i have a example of this drawing if you look at this drawing carefully it has a sinking or npm type switch and the sourcing or pmp type switch and do you notice this is not only three wires it actually got four wirings okay the additional four wire is the collector output wiring just like this one collector output wiring okay these two collector output wiring can be either one of the one of the wire can be normally closed and the other one is normally open again you have to refer to individual data sheet or menu for further information okay if the switch is sinking the load must be opposite sourcing that means it must be connected to the positive positive side of the dc power source so when the sensor detects something it will send a pulse to the base and open the gate and current can flow from the dc power source to the load then through the collector output wiring to the base and then exit through the emitted negative v or ground wiring and then go back to the negative side of the power source okay as for the sourcing or the pmp type switch when the sensor detect the object it will send a signal to the base and open the gate so the current from the positive side of the dc power source will flow through this positive v wiring and then to emitter and then to the base then exit through the collector output wiring 
then it will sink the load to the ground or negative and then current will go back to the negative side of the DC power source. Okay, so that's it. Thank you.